Hello, my name is Jim Ward, and I am a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be discussing how to replace orphaned vault view that isn't working anymore. So just what is an orphaned vault view? Well, a vault view is a place in Windows File Explorer where the user interacts with the PDM vault. Occasionally, something will happen and the vault view can no longer connect to the vault. And so we need to um, delete that particular vault view. We will call this the orphaned view. Now there may still be files checked out to that view, so we don't want to delete the cached files. Each view has its own serial number. Files checked out in a view must be checked back in from that view. The only other option is to do an undo checkout on those files, and you lose any changes made since the last time the file was checked in. Now the procedure I'll be showing you today will allow the user to save his work and eventually get his files checked in to PDM. So each PDM view has a file which makes it a PDM view instead of a standard Windows Explorer folder. We will remove this file so the view becomes a standard Explorer folder. Then we rename this folder and we go to the registry and we delete the entries for, this, for the view. And now we can create a new PDM vault view that connects to the PDM server. In the new view, we can do an undo checkout on all files that were checked out on this computer, and then check out the files again that had work done, and you want to check those back into the vault and save your work. So then we copy the files from the renamed old view into the files in the new view, and finally you can now check in the files in the new view. So now let's uh, demonstrate the procedure. So we're going to use my local view, Acme, as if it is a, an orphan view. My view works just fine, but let's pretend it's not working. Now, normally when you have a view and you want to delete it, you would right click the view and choose delete file vault view. So sometimes uh, that doesn't work because um, you're not the proper person, you're not the one who put it in, or uh, for whatever reason, this delete file vault view is not working. And so if this delete file vault view it doesn't work, then uh, what do you do? All right, so what you do is you use the command prompt to type in some commands and change things. So to, to create a, start a command prompt, we just type CMD down here in the search. And now we do need to change the location from uh, the user's user up to the uh, root level of the vault. So to do that, uh, we use uh, the old DOS commands, CD for change directory, and the location of my vault is C colon, let's see, backslash, and Acme. And you see now that uh, takes us over to the Acme. So now uh, I want to take a look at the attributes that the files have at that root level. So I just type ATTRIB, and it lists that I have desktop.ini. Looks like there's a couple of uh, searches as well, but I'm not so interested in those. I'm interested in this desktop.ini. Notice it has an attribute of uh, H. I believe that means that it is hidden. A, I think that means archive, but um, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to remove those. So to do that, again, we type ATTRIB and then dash, and I believe the capitalization matters. So I'll do a dash, capital H, and I tell it which file it applies to. So I can type here, dot I and I, hit enter. It looks like it worked. Let's check it. And so now I notice that across from desktop, dot I and I, the dash A, the A and the R are gone. So now I can delete that desktop, dot I and I. by typing DEL and enter. And now if we go look at this folder, we're, by the way, we're done with the command prompt now. And now we go looking on the C drive. Here's my Acme Vault up here. Notice it no longer has the icon uh, showing that it is a PDM Vault. So now let's uh, rename this. That takes care of what we need to do here. As you see, this now becomes a uh, standard Windows folder. 
but we do need to take care of the registry entries or else when you go to create your new vault you won't be able to do it that'll say attached missing information so to go to the registry we type regedit to get to the registry editor now there are two places to, actually there's three places to go here one is an h key current user software come down here to solidworks applications pdmworks enterprise and then vaults expand vaults and you'll see the vault that you currently have and you can go ahead and just delete that the entire folder now depending upon how PDM was installed. If it was installed for all users, and by the way, that is the recommended way to do it, then you'll need to go into HKey Local Machine. And if you didn't install it for all users, then the information is only here in HKey Current User. But if it was installed for all users, then now you need to go into HKey Local Machine, Software, SolidWorks, Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise, databases and find your your database acme and again delete that entire key there is another location here under under software and that's down here in wow 6432 node so again we need to go in here this is the for 32-bit applications by the way and again solidworks applications pdmworks enterprise databases and again delete the acme database all right so now we have cleared out the registry we have renamed the old acme so our next step is to create the new view to do that I, we will start view setup and you can do that by typing view you can also come over here and um, select your your listing scroll down to SolidWorks there's SolidWorks PDM and you'll see view setup down here this is what we're running it is a little bit easier to come down here to the search and just type view and you'll see here's your view setup so we're going to run that We choose next now in my case it's listed up here if it's not listed click on add type in the name of your server in my case it's easy because it's all right here on my computer but in most cases you'll need to type in the server name choose next you can see here it's acme so you do have to click the box there choose next I'm going to place it at the root level of the vault view and for all users. So here is our new view down here. The next step is to log into the view and do a search for any files that are checked out. So we'll do a complete search. It's probably a good idea to uncheck display folders. We'll leave the name blank because we're, we're looking for all of them. Go to checked in slash out. Now for, um, we'll uncheck display non-checked out files. Now for most people, you will drop this down and choose your name because you're the one who was checking files out on this particular computer. If it's a shared computer, you may want to leave this blank so you can find all files that were checked out on this computer. So I'll start the search. And in this case, you can see that there was one file that was checked out. And look out over here on checked out in. What's important is this first part, because this tells you the computer that it was checked out in. So if you have any that were checked out on a different computer, you can ignore those, because it's only the ones that were checked out on this computer. Well, then again, if you have been checking out files on old computers and for some reason you never got them checked back in, then you may need to select those files and do an undo checkout on those files or delete them. In this case, we have the, just this one. Now, if you have a bunch, I think you'll want to export your settings. 
that's this one here. Let's see, add to favorites. No, here it is. Open search result. If you click on that, then your search result will show up in in Excel. And this way you can, you won't lose track of which files you had checked out. You know the name that tells you um, where it was checked out, which folder. So you can expand that one as well. So when you can go browse to that particular file and copy that across. All right. You can use this to keep track of the files that you had checked out. So you know which ones you need to recover. In this case, I'll do a right click and do an undo checkout. I want to look at this. No local copy. That's right. No local copy. So I don't want to keep it out, checked out. I will make sure that this undo checkout box is checked. And then finally do an undo checkout. Now the file has gotten checked back in from the old view. In order to uh, replace it, I do want to check it out. But let's open that up in its own window. Because when we do the copy paste, we need to paste it in the exact same folder where the file currently exists. This is the one that was checked out before. So I'm going to check it out again. Now we can go to the old folder location. Let's go back root level of the C drive and go into the deleted Acme. And let's go find this particular file. It's this one here. So I can copy that and paste it over here. It will say there's one already there with that same name. This is a Windows warning, so I'll tell it yes. So this one is, has now been replaced with the one that was outside of PDM. And now I can check it in. And now you've just saved the work you had in your old vault view and checked it into the new vault. When you're done doing this, you can go to your old vault and finish deleting it. You can just right click it and choose delete. That clears up your, your C drive and there's no reason to have an old vault view sitting here. That completes the process of replacing an orphaned vault view. This has been Jim Ward from Go Engineer describing how to replace an orphaned vault view. Thank you for watching.